What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. I'm Johnny. You're watching Exhaust Note Channel, episode 10. We're back at it again, guys. We got some projects to finish up. I have not finished the wrap. I did get some more wrap for the exterior. If you watched the last series, you can guys click on the build series link. Uh, I'll post that up in the corner of the video. You can always go back and check out previous episodes. Watch me uh, build out this car. It's kind of cool. It's not like a super little race street build. It's just more of a little tune. You know, some basic upgrades, a little more modern technology, make it a little more, little more modern, I guess you could say, just to update it some, make it a little unique from uh, the other 335s out there. Not so many red ones out there, which is kind of nice, but uh, we we'll definitely want to change the interior. Today, we're going to wrap these, these here. This also, I'm going to try to get to this. This piece here, this piece here. Uh, so we're going to try to get, oh, and also door panels door panels I'm debating these I don't know possibly and this here these accents I don't know maybe like you'll see I'll show you guys about I don't think I have enough to really get all of that I don't know how much is in that roll so it's risky to take it take that much uh, time to wrap all that and I don't even have enough so also we got to change this right here the AC vent in the back whatever this is we got to change that. So let me grab the uh, the wood, new vinyl wood look, and you guys can check it out. Let me know what you. Think. So here we go. This one's from Vivid. Uh, this one is uh, I got that one from overseas. I was waiting for this one to get here. I didn't know how good it was gonna be, but it's actually thicker. I can feel the difference than this was when I got this one. This is from a different, I guess, manufacturer overseas, and. Um, this one feels a little bit thicker. This one's from Vivid. You guys can see it's like a brushed aluminum. Or a brushed black aluminum metal look, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it actually has texture. I wasn't expecting it to have texture, but it does. I thought it was just going to be like kind of a picture, but it actually feels pretty good. This one's actually... I don't know if this one's feels similar. It feels kind of similar to this. Uh, this. I think this is a little thinner. This is probably a little thicker. And probably rightfully so needs to be. I think this company's from Canada. I don't know. Don't worry, guys. They're not a sponsor. So if you, you guys want to get it, you go right ahead. Uh, definitely won't share links because they're not they're not uh, they're not paying me to do so. But uh, this wood one is a little darker, so this will kind of go on here, and obviously it's going to go this way where the grain should go up and down like that. So sorry, turn the camera straight up instead of holding you guys sideways. It's gonna look like this, pretty much. So we'll we'll spread that out on there, and that should look better. Or actually, no, I can't do it that way clearly because we have to roll it out. <laughs> so that's not gonna work. So it has to go up and down uh, on there. And I might actually like I don't know. Should I angle it a little bit? What do you guys think? Nah, let's just do it straight up and down. And hope, I should have enough of this because this is. This is long enough to where I can cut the piece and multiple pieces across the row. And the, 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 it's not super long. So should be hopefully enough. Oh, I have the door back door panels too. Forgot about these here. So that's the only wood trim piece across. So we're going to get to that shortly. I still need to finish the black on this here. So this time I ordered two black rolls. These are these vivid ones. I got these from Amazon. So. I got this one and this one. So I got two, two gloss black ones. I got plenty, plenty. So I think I'm gonna redo that curve in my window here, that back window, cause it didn't come out good. I had to really stretch that, that vinyl and it wasn't very cooperative, so to speak. You know, it was kind of hard to, to manipulate around that sharp corner, which I did, but I think that vinyl is just not great vinyl, so. It definitely wasn't as cooperative as I thought it was. And I can see that it's kind of, it looked good when I finished it. It wasn't wrinkled, but now it looks kind of in the corners. It's kind of wrinkly and it's, I, I tried to fix it, but it, it just, I think it's just a wrap. You can't stretch it that much. And it didn't really work out the same. And I also was using those last few pieces of wrap. So I was really trying to save two pieces for those both sides. I really shouldn't have. Should have just waited till I got this one. Uh, this one hopefully will stretch better. Uh, supposedly, 
online, you know, people say it stretches pretty good. So we'll see. I mean, you never know. These, this could be just as cheap. I got to stretch it around these corners here. This isn't as sharp as the little corner window here. Rest of it's fine. I got to finish the top piece. I'm going to keep all this bottom on, on here. I'm not going to remove it. And I most likely do have a little error here, a little spot. Maybe I should redo this. And then the top came up and it kind of got right here or something. There's like a little spot there. I wonder if I should redo this piece too. I mean, it's not noticeable. It's not horrible, but I mean, I guess it bugs me a little bit. But the doors look fine on the bottom. I got to finish that other front side. So there's a little bit to do there. Uh, but we'll get to that off camera. I'll knock that out. I'll knock that out on my own because uh, uh, and I'll show you guys the finished product there. So I'm going to get to work in popping all these trim pieces off. I got to figure this out. I think they all just I think they all just pop out. <laughs> I don't even know. I might have to watch some YouTube videos to make sure because I didn't even pre watch that. At least excuse me. At least I know that the vent ones, these vent ones pop off. Easy. I had it off a few times already because of the radio. I know that this pops off just as easy. I have no idea how these things pop. I'm assuming it pops off. Like I gotta pop the black piece off because I need to wrap that anyway. I need to pop that off. I need to pop the radio pieces off for the black so I can vinyl that. And I need to get this piece. I don't know. It, we're gonna figure this out together, guys. Well, I'm gonna figure it out. You guys will just see it when it's off. So once I figure out how it's off, I'll pump back in that video. I'll, if you guys don't know how to do it, I'll actually show you what it was like to get them off. Show you if you have no idea how to do it, you'll be able to see now. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. And we're back, boys. And I took the while to do this. I redid a few pieces. So I finished the trim. It looks good. Listen, I got a lot better. I think I need to redo one piece, though. I didn't do it, and I should do it. Look how it looks now, guys. Kind of looks flawless on camera, of course. You don't notice a lot of it until you get super close. This part, this part was kind of tricky. I had to like stretch forward and aft and around the corner and I actually did a good job. There's a few pieces that got some bubbles in them and I'll go back over there with a heat gun and you know, poke a little tiny little hole in it with the razor. But other than that, I think it looks awesome, man. It's, it's definitely a thousand times better. Yeah, I got my lights up, uh, you know, so I'm in the garage, a little streaky, I'm wiping stuff down with a rag, making sure it, it gets in there smooth. See, it keeps coming up a little bit in some spots, not sticking good. I don't know if the adhesive's like super good with, with these here, so I'm not really sure. But I got like bubbles, like this got easier as I got along. Once you start messing with it, you kind of understand how to manipulate it, like really. All right, so battery died. I'm dripping with sweat. <laughs> had to replace the battery. So, uh, yeah. So, anyways, I finished that up. So, it's going to be good. I'm going to have to do this trim now still. I wanted to finish this, uh, all the chrome pieces and be done with it. All of it looks really, really good now. So, black around the edges. This this is bonus. This this is how it should have looked originally. Uh, so, I got the blacked out there, blacked out there. Still got to get the spoiler and the mirror. And we're, we'll be good with the blacked out items. Oh, and the 335 badge. I'm not going to do anything with the BMW badge. That should be fine. Maybe I should get some black tips. Or I have those carbon fiber tips. Those might fit on there. They might be kind of big. I don't know. We'll try it out. See how it works out. Might as well use some carbon fiber tips. Brand new ones. You know, it's not going to hurt. It's worth a chop. All right, guys. So we run into a problem here. As always, it never fails. The problems. I ordered a bigger piece than this. It clearly is not bigger. So this wood trimming, it's not going to work. That's only driver's door, driver's side rear, the center rear console, and then the piece there. I could put that in the middle, but I still have this piece, this piece, that door, the rear in the back, and this one, which this one is actually probably is going to use the most because how whoops, how wide it is oh man so it looks like looks like we might be in the old uh, project of uh, doing something different here sorry it's getting a little blurry because that lighting so we're gonna have to improvise here and might have to end this video here I don't think we're gonna be able to get those pieces done 
because there's only like another maybe eight, seven inches left, if that. I don't know. Beyond that, I open it up. So obviously, I got to put the long pieces on the end there. I mean, I might be able to shape them all on there and cut it. But the doubt, what's gonna, what's gonna hurt most is this piece right here. This piece right here is, I mean, that if I pull that out and put that on there, it, it, it'll cover up majority of the entire thing there. So I don't think that's gonna work. So that, that's not gonna be a good project for now. It's most likely gonna have to uh, wait. So we're gonna have to either order, order something different for the trim pieces. Or, or we get cheesy like everybody else. What do you think? You know what I mean by cheesy? I mean we go carbon fiber wrap. It's cheesy. But I mean you can't go wrong carbon wrap. I guess it'll look good in this interior. This thing still needs to be cleaned. But as again, I do not want to really clean anything until I, you know, until I finish this up. I mean it only makes sense. I don't want to be at this with dirty hands and getting in and out of the car and making everything dirty again. So I'll, I'll scrub the interior down once I get the chance. So I appreciate you guys watching, man. Episode 10 is a mini pass, but a big fail because I can't wrap everything. And I don't want to wrap some of them because then if I don't like it and seeing the, seeing it anyway, I mean, this thing was only like, I think it was like 10 bucks for this, this wood trim. It's a little darker. What I wanted was darker because this one's not, as dark I don't know if you guys can see the difference and I don't want it to be glossy I don't want it to be more matte looking like not a gloss like a satin wood and it's a little darker but you know what honestly it doesn't it's not far off this is like I almost think this is like a non gloss version of this you know what I mean guys it is it looks so close so close to the same and then the and then it kind of goes this way, the grain. If I put this on, it'll go this way. So I don't even think that'll make sense. So that kind of stinks. We're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to figure something else out with this here. I think we're gonna have to get a much, much, much bigger piece here. As much as I'm, I'm trying to skimp out, ordering these things from the old Dolly Express, this ain't working out. Uh, I'm gonna have to order from Amazon and just get better pieces bigger pieces and uh you know i'm gonna have to just do a better job i can't can't cheap out as much as i thought i could i was trying to make some of these things just just a cheap alternative until you know i don't know maybe i found some pieces there's actually already pieces that are made for the car i don't think i want to spend that much that's that's way too much i'll just wrap it up spend some time wrapping it this is what it looks like by the way these things come off super easy Use a little plastic pry tool, which right there. Pops that right up. You unscrew it from the vent. It's two like T, I don't know what size this is, like a T10, 20, T20, T20. Gets the little bolts that are on the back of this here. Uh, holds this in and then holds it, the actual air vent that's connected to the to the back piece. And these didn't have no screws. They just had those, those plug-ins. They just all plug right in there. Super easy to get that in. <laughs> That's my flaw sticks there, guys. Gotta have flaw sticks. So that one will be so at least I know that everything's that one popped out, I pop it back in. Actually pops out just every all that pops out really easy. So we're gonna have to uh we're gonna have to go alternative route, maybe call it a day. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Appreciate you guys watching. Uh shout out to the dads, of course. Don't forget to subscribe. Woo, I'm sweating, man. It's hot in this garage. I can't really have the fan blowing on me because it was going to mess up everything. So subscribe, hit that like button so you don't miss new content, new build series, episodes. Every few days, I'll have them out for you guys. I'll see you. I'm out.